All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing something a little bit different here on NHL 21. Instead of just going through the entirety of a rookie's career, we will be recreating Sidney Crosby and making him eligible for the 2021 NHL entry draft. From there on out, we are going to see who drafts him and then simulate his career and compare it to what he has done so far in real life because he is still currently playing, obviously. With that being said, you're probably wondering what we will be doing with the real Sidney Crosby in the game and we're just gonna leave him as is. When he retires, we will record his stats and like I said earlier, see if he can live up to what he has done so far in real life as well as what he finishes off with in the game now at this point i probably would give a quick overview of the player i am doing but this is Sidney crosby and he needs no introduction you damn well know who he is this is the Crosby build I created. NHL 07 was the earliest rating I could find of him when he was at 91 overall. This was the game after his rookie season though, so I wanted to go a little bit lower than that, so I went with 87 overall and high franchise potential. Now we are going to assign Sidney Crosby to the Ramuski Oceanic and sim all the way to the 2021 NHL entry draft and see who picks him. So in the year before the new Sidney Crosby comes into the NHL, the league sees the Tampa Bay Lightning repeat as Stanley Cup champions, and here are the rest of the awards. Some of them include Lafreniere with the Calder, Line A the Maurice Richard, and Steven Stamkos as the Conn Smythe winner. The Calgary Flames win the draft lottery, and with that first overall pick, they do go on to select Sidney Crosby first overall. So at the beginning of the next season, Sidney Crosby made the Calgary Flames lineup out of camp and even increased up to an 89. He will be starting off on the first line at center, playing between Matthew Kachuk and Johnny Goudreau. Once again, he is an 89 overall with high franchise potential and has some very high stats to start off with. Sid the Kid is heading into his first NHL season with 96 offensive awareness, 95 passing, 93 deking, the list goes on and on. Now let's sim the first year and see if Crosby could win the Calder and possibly help the Flames get a Stanley Cup. Despite the addition of Sidney Crosby, the Calgary Flames have a brutal season finishing 28th in the NHL. Sid the Kid in his rookie season doesn't live up to his 102.1 he had in real life with the Pittsburgh Penguins, but it was still a good one. In a full 82 game season, Crosby scored 36 goals and 31 assists for 67 points. This was enough to win the Calder as the league's best rookie, and with this he increases up to a 91 overall. The Flames again just can't get it together and once again miss out on the playoffs, this time after finishing 24th in the NHL. Crosby's sophomore season is an improvement over his rookie campaign and in 81 games he put up 47 goals and 35 assists for 82 points on the year. He did not win any awards, but he does jump up to a 93 overall as he heads into the final year of his rookie deal. So in their three years with Crosby on his entry-level deal, the Calgary Flames did not make the playoffs once as they for the second straight year finished 24th in the NHL. Crosby again had a good season, especially with how bad the Flames were, and this one saw him pot 46 goals and 32 assists for 78 points on the year. He increases up to a 94 overall, and in the offseason he signs a 7-year deal with the Flames worth $9.9 .9 million per year. Finally, here in year number 4, the Calgary Flames make the playoffs after finishing 17th in the league. They met the Blackhawks in the first round and sadly fell to them in 6 games. Crosby played in 77 regular season games this year and in them scored 46 goals and 40 assists for 86 points and in the playoffs had 4 goals and 2 assists for 6 points in 6 games. With all this, we do see Crosby jump up to a 96 overall. Also, this season, the real Sidney Crosby does decide to retire, and he finishes his career with 632 goals and 1,052 assists for 1,684 career points. We will go more into depth with his numbers at the end, so stay tuned for that. After finally making it back to the playoffs in year 4, the Flames disappointed once again in year number 5 and finished 23rd in the NHL. Crosby, like the team, also declined a bit in production and had 37 goals and 38 assists for 75 points on the year. With this, he drops to a 94 overall. The Flames bounce back in year 6 and finish 12th in the NHL, which is good enough to make the playoffs, obviously. In them, they matched up with the eventual Stanley Cup champion Edmonton Oilers and lost to them in 5 games. In the regular season, Crosby had 38 goals and 33 assists for 71 points, and in the playoffs had an additional 3 points. He remains at 94 overall and takes home the Selkie Trophy. The ups and downs continue for Calgary as in year 7 they once again are on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoffs. Crosby struggled with injuries in this season and ended up missing 22 games because of them. In the 60 he got to play in he had himself 35 goals and 26 assists for 61 points on the year. He does increase in overall and is now back up to a 95.
Once again, the Calgary Flames waste another year of Sidney Crosby as they fail to make the playoffs after finishing 17th in the NHL. Crosby still had a decent season with 44 goals and 40 assists for 84 points on the year. He increases back up to a 96 overall, and Calgary really needs to get going soon because this is rough. Calgary is back in the playoffs after barely sneaking in as the 16th seed. Like usual, they don't make it out of the first round, and this year sees them lose to the San Jose Sharks in six games. Sidney Crosby struggled big time to remain healthy this season and missed basically half the season to injury. In 43 regular season games, he had 18 goals and 22 assists for 40 points. Come playoff time, he did show up, and in six games, he had two goals and six assists for eight points. He drops back to 95 overall, heading into the final year of his current deal. For the second straight season, the Calgary Flames make the playoffs after finishing 12th in the NHL. Did they make it out of the first round? Of course not. The Vegas Golden Knights easily dealt with Calgary in just five games. Crosby, in the last year of his current deal, had a huge season, scoring 42 goals and 52 assists for 92 points in the regular season. In the playoffs, he had two assists, but was a minus six. He jumps back up to a 96 overall, and in the offseason, for reasons I will never understand, he signs again with Calgary on a six-year deal worth $12.1 million per year. So, 10 years into his career, Sidney Crosby has played in 753 NHL games, scored 389 goals and 347 assists for 736 career points so far. Along with these very respectable numbers, he has himself a Selkie Trophy and the Calder Trophy. At this point of the real Sidney Crosby's career, he already had himself a Stanley Cup, a Maurice Richard Trophy, two Hearts, two Art Rosses, and three Ted Lindsay awards. So obviously it's safe to say this version of Sid already isn't and never will be anywhere near the legend we get to see in real life. Regardless, we're still going to sim the rest of his career and see how it plays out. So the Flames in year 11 don't really even have a bad year at all. They finished 14th in the NHL, but it sadly still wasn't enough to make the playoffs. Sid has himself a monstrous season, scoring 57 goals and 35 assists for 92 points on the year. He remains at 96 overall and takes home the Maurice Richard Trophy. The Flames just continue to disappoint, and honestly, it sucks that Crosby re-signed with them. This year, they fell all the way back to 23rd in the league and once again missed the playoffs. Crosby, like usual, unlike the team, is consistently solid, and this year was no different as he scored 46 goals and 29 assists for 75 points. He was a minus 34, but still somehow managed to win the Selkie Trophy, and he drops back to a 95 overall. The pain just continues as the Flames not only missed the playoffs, but are now once again one of the worst teams in the NHL. Honestly, I don't think a sim could be this bad ever again if I tried. Anyway, Crosby does his thing once again, scoring 43 goals and 33 assists for 76 points on the year. His plus minus was still a bit iffy, and he increases back up to a 96 overall. The Flames have officially hit rock bottom. I truly don't understand how this team in 14 years with him hasn't finished in the top 10 in the league once. Honestly, once again, I've never seen this before. Sidney Crosby somehow hasn't asked for a trade yet, but regardless, he scored 38 goals and 40 assists for 78 points on the year. He remains at 96 overall and wins the Selkie once again as a minus 16 on the worst team in hockey, which just makes no sense. So Calgary improves this season and are now the second worst team in hockey as they finish 30th in the NHL. This playoff deprived man wound up with 36 goals and 27 assists for 63 points on the year and at age 33 dropped to a 94 overall. Also next year is the last year of his current deal so hopefully he ditches Calgary and goes to a cup contending team. The Flames suck. In the last year of his current deal with Calgary, Crosby was a point per game with 36 goals and 41 assists for 77 points in 77 games. He gets another undeserved Selkie and remains at 95 overall. In the offseason, Crosby willingly decides he would like to suffer some more and signs a four-year deal with the Calgary Flames that is worth $12 million per year. Calgary manages to just get worse again. I am honestly just at a loss of words at this point. I've done countless simulations and never has one been this bad. If I didn't post that this video would be out on this Friday before recording it, I definitely would have redone it because this is just brutal. Anyway, Crosby had 37 goals and 42 assists for 79 points and dropped to a 92 overall, so it looks like we may start to see him on the decline as an individual player.
The Flames finished 25th in the league and missed the playoffs like always. Crosby had himself 38 goals and 32 assists for 70 points on the year, and once again won the Selkie while being a minus player. Crosby decreased again and is now an 89 overall. Finally, the Flames are back in the playoffs once again as they finished 17th in the NHL. Come playoff time, they did not disappoint for once and actually went on a solid run. Calgary went all the way to the Western Conference Finals where they lost just one game shy of the Stanley Cup Finals to the St. Louis Blues. Crosby is still producing at 37 years old and this season saw him finish with 80 points after scoring 32 goals and 48 assists. In the playoffs, he was solid as well with 6 goals and 10 assists for 16 points in 18 games. He drops to an 84 as he heads into the final year of his current deal and wins another Selkie Trophy. So after making some solid progress, the Flames followed up by being the worst team in the NHL once again. This sim has to be cursed, I don't even know what to say at this point. Crosby and hopefully his last year of this sim had 27 goals and 38 assists for 65 points and dropped to an 82 overall. In the offseason, he still decides he's not done and signs with the Flyers on a two-year deal worth $12.2 million per year. If he's gonna keep playing, at least it's not with Calgary. In just one year with the Flyers, they already had a better regular season than all 20 Crosby had with the Flames as they finished third in the NHL. The playoffs also were better and as good as it gets as they go all the way on to win the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby in his first year as a Flyer, that just sounds completely wrong. He had 33 goals and 49 assists for 82 points on the year and in the playoffs had 18 points in 23 games. He increases up to an 83 overall. Philly is the polar opposite to Calgary as they seem to be consistently good and this year they are the best team in the NHL. In the playoffs they come close to repeating but sadly lose to the Edmonton Oilers in the Stanley Cup Finals. Crosby at 40 years old with another great season, this one seeing him have 32 goals and 51 assists for 83 points in the regular season. He once again has another good playoffs as well and put up 5 goals and 16 assists for 21 points in 24 games. He drops to an 81 overall and decides to finally retire. So in 1719 NHL games, this version of Sydney Crosby scored 844 goals and 812 assists for 1,656 career points. He was a one-time Stanley Cup champion, Calder Trophy winner, and Maurice Richard Trophy winner. He also took home the Selkie six times. The real Sidney Crosby, mixed with the rest of his NHL 21 career, finishes his career with 1,392 games played, 632 goals, and 1,052 assists for 1,684 career points. He was a three-time Cup champion, two-time Conn Smythe winner, three-time Ted Lindsay Award winner, two-time Art Ross winner, two-time Hart winner and a two-time Maurice Richard winner. So the real Crosby does end up having the better career and in all honesty that's how it should be. Sidney Crosby is a once-in-a-lifetime player and we should all be grateful for what we have seen him do so far and that we still have the opportunity to see him compete. So there you guys have it. Obviously this is not what I was expecting with regards to how bad the Flames simulated but this is how it went. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of these type of videos and I will see you guys next time. Peace.